Alhamdulillah Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba' Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's dominion is vast So why is it That some of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Doesn't appreciate this vast creation and doesn't appreciate the duties that Allah has prescribed for them to worship Him and Him alone in accordance with the Kitab wa Sunnah in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and we have to ask ourselves why is it that some of the people they make bid'ah, they make innovation in their ibadah to Allah by seeking to come closer to Allah in ways in which are not legislated in ways the Prophet وسلم, did not authenticate nor did the Quran give them permission to do so the Prophet وسلم, said Kulu dalala. all innovation is misguided and all dalala or all misguidance is in the fire alayhi salatu wassalam so when we see new groups in jama'at calling themselves by that which is ghayr mashru' that which is not mentioned in the Quran and the sunnah or in the seerah of the salaf al-salih ridwan ala ilayhim then we have to ask ourselves, where is it coming from? Jamaat al Ahbash, Aqal al Muslimin, Jamaat al Tabliq, Jamaat al Takfir, Wahijr al Khwarij, Mu'tazila, Jahmiya, Shia, Rafida. Where is all this coming from? It's coming from the Shaitan. This is the asl of all of that. No matter how harsh it seems, that's where it comes from. Hezbollah, Hezb Shaitan. Either the party of Allah Ta'ala that adheres to the Qur'an and the Sunnah or the party of the Shaitan that adheres to everything other than that everything which is misguidance, everything that which is innovation, everything which is based on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger وسلم, have not legislated and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and protect us from evil